Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today on The Real Estate Podcast. I'm Todd Sumney with HomeSmart. And I'm Rich LaRue, your designated broker at HomeSmart. And if today's episode of The Real Estate Podcast, if today's episode doesn't move you, then nothing will. That's our title of today's episode. And we are so excited to have with us as our guest, Justin Hodge. Justin from Muscular Moving Men, Say hello to everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, guys, everybody. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Rich. Hey, glad to have you here, Justin. So I uh, want to, um, you know, overall today, I, I just I think one of the things that we want to inspire people about is the importance of having a moving company or a moving partner as part of your toolbox and how it's, it's just one more way additionally to serve agents. and. It really is an important part of the equation. We've seen agents even build their business, you know, around, mm-hmm. you know, marketing how we're going to make your move easy and with their moving partner. And um, without a doubt, Justin, your team has been a phenomenal asset to all of our Home Smart agents. You are our most long-standing partner. Uh, we call them smart affiliates, right? Yeah. Our, our smart. Uh, affiliates and you definitely have helped our agents I believe um, so many times over the years and I've heard all the stories we're gonna dig into some of those stories today but the important thing for our audience to know right away is that this, it really is important to have this relationship to have knowledge about this space and also it can um, create opportunities for you and it really does make sense you know I, I, I don't think a moving company is what an agent thinks of naturally or immediately as as far as partnering with but there's one thing in common that all of our clients do when we do our job right they move they do they move. And so here you are justin uh, yeah and uh, you guys do a phenomenal job and so uh, in any event welcome uh and let's dig in yeah, yeah. And, and in full transparency i'm going to say um Justin, your team has helped me personally many, many times move. And uh, also even um, recently, just as much as I just needed a large dining room table moved. And I didn't have a truck big enough and I called them up and they took care of it right away. Just great white glove service. Thank your team very much. Time and time again, Rich obviously has moved as well. And I couldn't agree more with you guys that uh, we can all agree moving is not fun. You know, it's it's kind of one of these professions that we've we've gotten ourselves into that has this emotional tie to clients for better, for worse. And I, I think that we've really grown to love that relationship that we have with our referral partners and with our clients. There's a longstanding relationship that you build. And, you know, look, no one's perfect, uh, us included. We were kind of talking uh, yesterday, actually, about uh, the fact that we are the longest standing home smart partner. Uh, I met Carol Perry and, and Matt Widows back in 2015. And, you know, my extent of knowledge of how to attend uh, one of these uh, realtor meetings was pretty much non existent, to say the least. And so, you know, when, when we got invited to come to uh, a meeting, it was the elite meeting, I, I just started thinking to myself, all right, what? Well, you know, I've got a marketing background. I went to the Walter Cronkite School at ASU. I, I got this. This will be fun. We'll shake hands. We'll we'll get to know people. And I said, all right, well, let's come in with like a stack of boxes on a dolly because that's what we do. Uh, we didn't have a table cover. You, you know, it was, there wasn't a lot of swag items to hand away. So but what we can do is uh, over at Total Wine, they've got this shotgun filled with tequila. So it was about uh, three feet long. And it had shot glasses connected to it. And I said, well, I think that we probably should have like a giveaway. I think Carol may have mentioned a giveaway. So let's just bring a big (laughs) bottle of alcohol that looks like a gun. That seems like a great idea. So we showed up with shotgun tequila in hand, Dolly with boxes. And I just remember Carol looking at me like, why did I get these guys involved again? I don't really understand what I was thinking. So yeah, it was a little bit of a, a bumpy road at first, but she could, I think, really tell that we were genuine and, uh, you know, we, we, we cared, we were passionate, at least we had that. We didn't know what we were doing, but we wanted to be a part of it. Well, I think it sets the stage for the uh, the relationship as a whole. I would say that the authenticity has just been a huge part yeah. 
of our relationship both with you and us and I think it's um, it's been mutual because our agents have re learned to rely on your team and your team as well um, so we again you know hey we thank you for that um, can you tell us a little bit about though real quick about muscular moving men tell us your story how did how did it start why did you start the company yeah, it's a, it's a great question, and it's just weird how things have evolved over time. I mean, for, for me, I'm born and raised in Arizona. My business partner and best friend, Josh, he's born here. We've known each other since we were eight years old, so more than 30 years now. Went to Boys and Girls Club, had that kind of competitive fire and spirit that we always wanted to one-up each other. Went through high school and then eventually went to ASU. And while I was at ASU, I worked for a moving company. So I learned how to charge, how the process worked as far as one small aspect of the transportation industry, just local residential moving. And I always knew that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I, I don't think that uh, I'm great with taking direction from bosses. Uh, you just kind of think <laughs> about as, as, long as, you, <laughs> as long as you can until you, you're ready to go out on your own. And uh, there's definitely risk with that. And, and I, at this point, was going to be a young father. It was 2008. And my wife, I'll never forget, called me and told me that we were expecting a baby girl. And so I was 23 at the time. I had actually planned on going to law school. I'd applied to go to law school at ASU. And it just became clear that spending more money on college was really not going to be in my best interest. I needed to make money. So I knew how to, how to, how to move. And so Josh and I, we post ads on Craigslist to move people's stuff. And when you post an ad that says muscular moving man, you'd be surprised at the different types of requests you get. From <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> to right. do stuff. Uh -huh. And I mean, the moving industry in general, like we're just involved in, in the most intimate aspects of their lives. We're in their bedrooms. We're in places that no other guest would ever be allowed in. And we're perfect strangers. So. Uh, as the company continued to evolve from 2008 to where we are today, now 15 years in, we've done more than 30,000 moves. We've added different aspects of what we do long distance. We do a lot of commercial moving, offices, industrial, hospital, hotel. We, we can facilitate any move across the country, anywhere, anytime. And we have more than 125 people that are cranking out sometimes up to 400 moves a month. So. It's uh, it's been a wild ride. And I think that, you know, if you had asked me 15 years ago, if I thought that this is what I wanted to do, I never would have said yes. But it, the, the, the family, the culture, the relationships we've built within our company, uh, as well as with you guys at HomeSmart, um, like I've said before, we wouldn't be where we are today without you guys being uh, a huge part of what we do. I love hearing that. I love hearing that. And, and I know one thing that really sets you apart is you you talk about your team as mover athletes you know what what is a mover athlete well you guys can really you're broadcaster athletes so you know <laughs> i like you, that your check will are, be in the mail <laughs> <laughs> so our, but, you know it, it's funny for arizona in particular it's the most uh widespread group of what people would deem to be movers. It's the least regulated state in the country when it comes to moving. You don't have to have a license. You can basically just post an ad and say, I'm a mover today. So Rich and Todd moving, you guys throw your ad up there, you'd be on Craigslist and you're off and running. And so how do we differentiate ourselves against somebody else? So yeah, how do we, you? Yeah, and one thing we came up with was mover athletes, right? So we're a fitness type company. Josh and I both have either competed in marathons, Ironman events, Spartan races. He was a bodybuilder. Uh, and so as you get older, you figure out, like, how do I continue to make competition a part of my life? And we've tried to pass that through to our mover athletes. So we're a smoke-free company. Uh, we've got a gym at our facility. Uh, you know, it just kind of goes hand in hand that you want to be strong to move furniture. And, and we've had some pretty badass gals working here, by the way, some, some, uh, female mover athletes. Cause that's a big question we get. They move our guys under the table. Uh, Megan in particular, I can think of right now, she is a beast. So, you know, it doesn't just have to be all men. And yeah, I mean, that, I think that was really how we decided to try to set ourselves apart was the mover athlete, uh, designation we came up with. So do you get excited and do you offer a discount to, uh, to move people who live in multi-story homes? <laughs> uh, <laughs> more stairs 
More stairs, exactly. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. is that a bonus or, <laughs> or, or not so much? Uh, I wouldn't think that, I mean, you know what, you, you, I might need to tap into Rich's marketing mind because now we're convincing our mover athletes that guys, good news, it's going to be stair day. You get to go up three flights. It, I don't it's leg day, athlete. it's right? leg day. <laughs> yeah, well, when you're carrying a dresser up, uh, you know, down one flight or no flights, I mean, you definitely feel it at the end of the day. So oh, no, uh, doubt. no yeah. I wouldn't say it's exactly a bonus per se. Well, you know, we're going to come visit your facility someday and you're going to have like up on the wall. It's leg day today. At, uh, you know, this <laughs> we're going to say that was you're rich. welcome anytime. I like that. That's awesome. Um, you know, I, I want to dig in in a minute just a little bit more. I mean, your company's grown so large. I mean, just your fleet, the number of moves you're doing a month, your statewide um, nationwide, you know, reach all that. But kind of want to go back to the original <coughs> question right out of the gate. You know, why, why is moving so important to a real estate professional and having the right partner and having this service? I mean, you have, ton, you have to have tons of stories of so many times when you've saved the day. Yeah, I, it, it's, I, you know, more times than I can count, there's been these moments that happen that you know you're never going to forget. I mean, not, not just uh, the things internally that our clients don't know about that we have to deal with. And I believe me, I've got some stories there, but um, externally working with agents and clients, it's kind of just this forgotten part about the transaction because it doesn't show up on the, you know, the closing document that, oh yeah, I forgot we need to have a moving company involved. And I think it's one of the most integral parts of the whole transaction. You need to make sure the origin location is intact there's no damage that the furniture itself is is going to be in good shape the home that we're moving them into uh and so there's been situations one in particular that i can remember where we uh had heard from both sides of a transaction that there was a handshake deal that the client who we were moving in could take prepossession of the house so it's not my place or our place to get involved in that conversation we heard that was the case and you know, we were about 12 hours into this move. This was probably 2016, I'd say. And five mover athletes, two trucks, you know, there's about 10,000 pounds worth of furniture. We got it moved in. It's maybe nine, 10 o'clock at night. And we get a frantic call from an agent that uh, told us we have to move everything back out. The deal was never a deal. We weren't supposed to move stuff in the, the the agent got ahead of themselves so we've now just wrapped up a hellacious day stairs everything you can imagine heavy furniture galore and so i called the crew and i remember telling them the guys i've got good news and bad news uh the good news is you're going to know exactly where all the furniture goes right inside the truck and the bad news is you need to reload it and move out of that house because we weren't allowed to move in yet so that's the kind of challenge that you know oh, you, no. you sometimes are up against yeah well yeah <laughs> so that's... good news you get a double workout today <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, curious, oh my gosh. Gosh. I'm curious to know if you remember when that day ended because it was 10 o'clock at night when you had to uh, all of a it had to be the next day redo huh? it. it had oh, to be past no. midnight so it was the uh, next day at that point yeah this day. i think the sun probably was just coming up all right wow but i also know um i've just i've been around enough of our agents and having their experiences with your team many times where the closing dates get moved where um either the title company or somebody the mortgage company or somebody either they're moving it forward they're moving it back it's friday afternoon all of a sudden end of the day no they're not going to close uh, now it needs moved. it's real estate that stuff happens it does and yeah. you guys have how do, how do you handle those situations and I've just heard stories where you've saved the day many times from agents yeah it's you know to an already complex situation it can add uh, an extra layer that is complex I mean moving on its best day I think is you know statistically they say it's like the third most challenging day in a person's lives and they typically most people leave, will move every six to seven years uh, about 10% of our population nationwide moves every year. So the crazy thing was during COVID time, it bumped up to around 20%. So you're talking about 30, 40, 50 million moves a year. 
And when there's a wrench thrown into the works, like a date gets moved, we, we need to roll with the punches and, and adjust if, if need be. Um, helping get the clients prepared for their day is, is the best thing I feel like that we can do. So just, you know, giving them some tips to prepare in terms of being packed, knowing what to do with uh, family members, getting them involved in the mix. So having your kids help pack and mark boxes, knowing where your pets are going to be. Uh, and doing a lot of follow-up, that, that's huge for us. We're constantly checking back in with the clients to not only find out, has there been a change to the inventory of items, but how are you looking on dates? Do you need some assistance with packing? You know, what can we do to put you in the best position possible? Because it's, you know, it, it affects our team as well. And if they get done eight, nine, 10 o'clock at night, because we went longer than expected, a lot of times they might not come in the next day. And then we have a, kind of this snowball effect that, is challenging for us to try to make sure the next day's customers are taken care of. Yeah, so when we were talking earlier about, you know, this being an important part of every realtor's toolkit, I, uh, what are what are a couple tactics or insights or that you would recommend to agents right out of the gate? Um, how do they create this relationship with companies like you? I, I think that- What do they need to do? It really, I, you know, Frankly, when a listing agreement is signed or when escrow opens, that's kind of the last point that we think that we should be in the mix because we're not just simply, you know, talking men and trucks and that kind of a thing. We're, we're really just this resource that's an extension of the home smart team, right? So if we if they don't move with us, that would be unfortunate. But being that, you know, we've worked with home smart for eight plus years. And I mentioned earlier that we've done more than 30,000 moves. And I'd say at least 10% of those have been by way of HomeSmart. So we we feel this sense of obligation as an extension of the HomeSmart team to help just be an advisor in the process, help them understand you know, some of the different types of moving companies that they could use if they don't wanna go with us. And certainly people have done self moves and that's fine, but we wanna help educate them about the right timeline to be packed, you know, certainly if you're not going to use it in the next 12 months, don't take it with you, uh, sell it on offer up or do a donation. Get, really? Get, right. get, I've get got rid boxes from a move four <laughs> years ago that the tape is still intact. And, and I've, I've moved twice since then. I mean, I don't need that stuff, Justin. Oh, you're a hell of a packer. That's why, Rich, you, you are, uh, <laughs> your box, you're prepared. You're ready for the next move. <laughs> well, just as a, as a note, you were talking about HomeSmart and HomeSmart agents. Um, inside of our Real Smart Agent panel, we do have when you are entering a um, a, a closing um, transaction, there's a checkbox that you can uh, check and enter and just get the wheels wheels rolling. Right. Yeah. Um, is easy. it on the listing side as well, or mm -hmm. is it only on the sale side? That's or, a great uh, question. Um, I don't know. It, it might be in both places. It might be in the listing. I know for sure it's when you're actually right. uh, conducting a sale agreement. Yeah. Um, but you can just click a checkbox and it'll notify the muscular moving, ten, uh, moving team, the muscular moving men team. They'll get in touch with you. They'll get in touch with your client. And again, we're just trying to make real estate easy for you, the agent. And so is muscular moving men. And, and our partnership is so strong that we've actually integrated that into our technology inside this real, real smart agent panel where a simple little checkbox will get that uh, part of the transaction moving. So, Or agents can go directly to yep. uh, their website yep. and, and yep. book an appointment or your client can. Yep. They can. I, I want to just, if you guys don't mind, I want to give a compliment to, to HomeSmart, to Carol Perry, to, to your team, to everybody we work with. I mean, look, in 15 years, we, we've had opportunities to connect with other brokerages, other agents. But I mean, on that day in 2015, when I rolled in there in a T-shirt and shorts with a dolly and boxes and no tablecloth and uh, you guys definitely and a shotgun stopped. full of tequila. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew who won that, by the way. If, if you're listening or watching, please let us know how the tequila was. I'd love to <laughs> I'd love to hear and offer Rich and, and Todd a shot, too. But uh, there's there's no company, there's no brokerage that does it on the level that you guys do it. And the opportunities that you afford us to, to connect with agents, um, it's, it's unlike anything else that I've, I've experienced in 15 plus years. So we're just thrilled to be an extension of the team. And you mentioned that there's an opportunity to connect with our moving service now when you um, use uh, the HomeSmart software. So 
there's nobody else that I know of that does this kind of stuff. And I think that just having the benefit of using the experts around you, not just moving, but, but whoever it might be that has an influence on the transaction. I just think that HomeSmart has done such a good job at bringing people that are, you know, on the periphery of the transaction that can assist the agents. And, and that's always our goal is we just want to try to help provide education and, and hopefully they choose to move with us. We'd love that if, uh, you know, when that happens too. Well, speaking of expertise, um, can you give a little bit of insight into the industry as a whole? What do agents need to know about the moving industry to equip them with their toolbox? Like, I think there's, you know, you told me about four different categories or four different types of movers that um, really make up the industry. Can you talk about that yep. for a minute? Yeah, so and I think that's it. the funny thing about this. I don't know if it's funny, but but the education level that needs to be provided because I think most times when people call us, it's not because they had a really great experience with their last moving company. It's because they had a bad experience. Otherwise, they would have called those guys. So, you you certainly have some bad actors in the industry, and um, there's one in particular that uh, one type of mover that gives them a bad name. But really, you could move four different ways. Uh, you've got a self move option. You could rent a truck. You could rent pods. Uh, those are, you know, certainly like the do it yourself type approach. If you want to save some money, there's a van line. There's, you know, so that's like a Mayflower, United, some of these bigger outfits that you might be familiar with. There's a broker, and uh, I've talked to Rich about this before, and he's familiar with it. But brokers uh, in the moving industry. They're really not even movers. And, and what happens is there's you know a bunch of guys in a call center that are fielding calls. They pump a bunch of money into Google pay-per-click. And at the top, you'll see, let's say, a Colonial Van Lines or insert name here. And it seems great. You get your estimate. It's half the price the other company quoted. And then what happens is the broker sells the move to an actual legitimate moving company that has men, women, and trucks. And when they show up, there's this standoff that happens because a lot of the time it was a low ball offer and there's this, you know, negotiation and, and uh, this, uh, this is why the industry has a bad name. And, and, and so the fourth option would be an independent. And that's what we are is we're an independent moving company. We're not an agent for a van line. We're not a broker. And I think that there's knowing those four different types of moving services that you can um, use is, is going to be key when you're making your decision of what mover to go to. And just looking those companies up online and really doing some research and understanding what is their, uh, what type of mover are they and what do the reviews look like? Yeah, I added something to your uh, number four. So you have van line number one, do, or do it yourself number one, van line number two, broker number three. I added the word concierge level independent because that's what I think of when I think of you. It, well, yeah, I, I appreciate that. And I think that um, it, it makes sense and it's necessary. To, another thing that's happened is there is a hostage law that was passed in Arizona. And the hostage law, as it relates to moving companies, um, now there's this uh, actual law that has taken place that if you are in a standoff with a moving company, they have to unload that truck for you. They have to complete that service for you at the price that was previously agreed upon. So if the listeners, viewers look up hostage law, Arizona, and they happen to get into a situation where their clients or they themselves have dealt with a bad actor moving company, they cannot sit there with the truck locked and not unload the truck. So they can cite that and they can call the police. They can get their truck unloaded. And that's how bad it is that Arizona is the Wild West when it comes to that. So they had to put some legislation in place that allowed the consumer to have more protection. Wow, that's some good insight. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <clears throat> um, OK, so uh, that's great insight to the industry as a whole. Can you talk a little bit now just real quick about your company again, your fleet, your nationwide, you know, um, capability, what you're doing here in Arizona, as well as I think you have some major differentiators like three pillars that kind of make you different. Well, other than uh, absolutely burning our faces off every day and the hot Arizona sun moving, uh, <laughs> you know, there is a lot going on. It's it, it just happens to be what we call peak season right now. So you've got May to August. That's the time frame where more than 60% of the moves in this country happen is this, this summer season. And you've got kids getting out of school and that's when families really wait to uproot and do their, their moves. So 
Uh, we've got the capability to, you know, really pick up and deliver anywhere in the country, Kentucky to Florida, New York to California, and certainly anywhere to and from Arizona as well. Probably 40 to 50 of the moves we do every month are going to be long distance moves. And, you know, you've got another blend of 350 more that are like local residential and commercial moves. Uh, we do a ton of storage. We've got more than a million pounds in furniture sitting in a warehouse right outside my office. And uh, that certainly exploded when COVID happened. And all of a sudden people were taking the equity in the homes and selling them and they had no place really to go. So, which was great for us. Certainly we were happy to take on that challenge. And, uh, you know, we've got clients that stay with us a month or less and some that are there for five plus years. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it, we've just tried to always stay true to the core values that you mentioned. And, you know, those are winning as a team. Certainly that's something we embody every day. We're relentlessly never satisfied. I think our whole team would agree and, and do the right thing. Uh, we try to do those things and, and those three pillars of who we are is something that we felt strongly about back in 2008 and still do today. That's great. So talk a little bit more about, uh, I mean, you're a local company here in Phoenix, Arizona, and yet you still do uh, interstate moves along with the intrastate moves. Um, uh, how does all that work? Because there is some regulation with that. Um, but, uh, you know, any, any comments on that for our listeners? Yeah. When you're looking at an interstate mover, uh, there's a, you can look them up. They have a, uh, two different numbers if you're a moving company. So you have a DOT number with that basically handles your intrastate moving and you have an MC number for your interstate moving. And so, uh, certainly there's, it's a very, um, separated business when it comes to all the different types of movers some do this really well some do this not so well and uh, for us you're right there is a lot of regulation there's uh, right now in a training room a couple doors down we have all of our long distance drivers we have 10 cdl drivers we have 10 tractor trailers and the tractor trailers are the way that we would do long distance moving. You've probably seen them on the road, whether they say Mayflower or National or Muscular Moving Men. That's how the long distance moves get done across the country. And you might even see some situations where there's furniture strapped to the back of the truck that's sitting on a platform. And, oh and that's like a that's a dream for a mover because you know every inch of that truck is maxed out. There's there's actual money being made on that shipment that what you don't want to do is deadhead if you've got an empty truck driving anywhere it just makes your skin crawl because you're losing money and so that's been the biggest challenge for us is trying to always we're being an independent we're not an agent for a van line we don't get shipments that are sent to us we have to go make our own business and always try to have a full truck everywhere we're going so there's the 10 tractor trailers and those cdl drivers and then you've got the box trucks the smaller ones that all your local mover athletes are doing, you know, these moves on every single day that are just within the Phoenix area. And we don't have a lot of people moving out of Arizona, but it does happen. Um, and so, and lots of people moving into Arizona from, from other states. Uh, so how do you, I mean, that's what was going through my mind is what about the deadheads? I mean, how do you, how do you do that? I mean, or do you pick up produce? um and or or whatever uh and probably produce wouldn't be good i don't know if your your trailers are are air conditioned or not but uh you know my point is that i would imagine that you would pick up something uh, uh from a business yeah. perspective that makes sense to me sometimes you have to uh haul freight and we've done that you know astroturf yeah, water bottles whatever that situation might be but for the most part we've built a network that is pretty strong, not just the relationships we have within real estate, but we've uh, maintained and, and uh, really extended the relationship with all the local moving companies. So the majority of local moving companies in Arizona don't want to do long distance moving because it can sometimes uh, be the demise of your business, the extra cost of insurance and fuel and risk and uh, potential disasters. So we receive a ton of referrals from local moving companies that are looking just to you know take some profit and have a commission be paid to them and have their clients have a really good experience so you mentioned kind of where arizona stands as it relates to the nation as a whole and 
for the most part, Arizona is always in the top five busiest inbound shipment states in the country. And so um, the, the one of the, the biggest states that people are moving away from, and it's probably not a surprise, New York, Illinois, New Jersey, California, people are leaving in droves a lot of the times from there and, and moving to places like Arizona. Funny enough, Arizona was not as popular last year as it had been previously. The busiest state to state moving routes right now, California to Texas, mm -hmm. actually California to New York, New York to Florida, mm -hmm. California New York to, Florida, to Florida, Florida doesn't surprise me. California Cal to so, Florida, really? Huh. California to Washington and New York to California. So California is four of the top six busiest move away from states in that mm -hmm. list right there. Mm -hmm. Wow, California to Florida, uh, you know, they want the ocean. I guess. So, I guess. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah. So real quick, um, what are some things that agents can do to have their clients prepared on moving day or before moving day? And when they're conducting a transaction with a buyer or a seller, how early do they need to start? So what are some things yeah. agents need to do to be prepared? So I'd say four to five weeks prior to the potential move date, that's the right time to engage your mover. And the most of the time you have clients that say, look, I don't know where I'm moving yet. I'm not sure what the closing date is. And so I'd say 90% of the clients we work with, those two things are happening in tandem every single time. But you want to engage the mover. You want to get an estimate. You can do either an in-home survey or technology is pretty good at this point. We can do a FaceTime walkthrough with them or just pull up a listing online and go room to room. So once you've got that part done, if it's a long distance move, you're gonna get what we call a binding estimate. So just like it sounds, if nothing changes on the client's end, same inventory, same dates, same addresses, you're bound at that. Uh, for local, it's an hourly rate. So you you three to five weeks out, you've got your estimate, you, you do your due diligence, then you uh, reserve a mover for us. It's a $75 deposit. And then you're locked in. At least, you know, you've got your truck and crew, especially if you intend to move the last week of any month or on a Friday or Saturday, those are the busiest times for moving companies nationwide. You want to get those as far in advance as possible. And then I think the next step is really just to start going through the home and pare down. You want to mark items that are going to be donation or sell. Um, you want to get your packing started in most cases clients will do that and when your movers show up boxes should be sealed you want to have linens off beds items off shelves things kind of prepared if you want a full service move that's fine too we go in and we provide all the pack materials we can pack clients up um and then you want to make arrangements for pets and family members if, if you want your family off site for the day, get, send them maybe to, uh, you know, wherever to day camp, or um, if you want to take care of your wife and you're the husband running the show, send her to the spa or vice versa, send your your man to the spa. Um, but in pets, pets are creatures of habit. I think that's a big one that we really want to try to cover off on. And, and they get really, really stressed when they see movers and people in the home. So I think just having a plan for what you're going to do for, you know, kind of the people that are in the house and around the transaction that don't really need to be there, just kind of clear the way and let the movers do their thing. And um, once it's all done, go through all your items, make sure that there's no issues, no damages. Uh, be be aware of if there's a, a window that you have, if you need to file a claim. So usually it's like a 30 day window and make sure that you, you know, just read the fine print, be aware of everything that you're getting yourself into. So in reality, what you are saying is a listing agent should prepare their clients with a mover when they take the listing. I mean, 100%. you're saying four to five weeks. I mean, it could happen that quickly. Yeah. So don't wait until a week after it's in escrow. You know, you say, okay, you know, or 10 days after. All right, we've <laughs> removed, um, we've removed all contingencies and we're, we're now 20 days from closing or so, I should probably have the conversation with you all a little bit sooner than that. Yeah, I, I think that th there's always gonna be uncertainty. That's why we try yeah. to be flexible for our clients. Just get the process started as early in as you can with your moving company. Most of them, well, I wouldn't say most, but some will have, the better ones will have um, pretty low risk deposit you put down and they can adjust with you because we understand that's the nature of the business. Right. Yeah, I'm sitting here looking at your website right now. Um, you know, the uh, the strongest name in moving, muscular moving men. Love your logo, by the way. Love seeing all the uh, the logo and all the hats and everything. But 
just watching the different images that are scrolling there on the screen for those that are listening not watching they're just showing all the different scenarios of sometimes they're going into a box truck sometimes they're going into a crate which that crates getting moved into you know maybe for a nationwide move but in all the cases everybody looks like a mover athlete and they're hustling pretty fast and um, you saw your warehouse right there too that's pretty cool so uh, kudos this uh, this looks uh, pretty amazing so if you want to see this real quick go to muscularmovingmen.com if you're a real estate agent um, you know there is some special pricing I think that you have or at least uh, they want to talk to you um, so make sure you let them know you're a real estate agent you're professional they're gonna sign you a dedicated move coordinator and you know um, I think that's one thing that makes you different as well you know you're getting assigned an actual move coordinator could you talk about that a little bit yeah so there's some perks certainly with um, you know home smart either the agent themselves or the client submitting their information just going to the contact us page on the website making sure that the home smart name comes up matters we always want to make sure that those clients are marked as vips for us and there are going to be some benefits to it you touched on uh, there being a dedicated move coordinator so um, the reps that our uh, team goes out and connects with the home smart team that they're aware of those moves they're going to communicate with agents during the process so typically if a client is is now gotten an estimate there's also email and text alerts that are no, notifying the agent that's that's a part of the that was the referring partner will be notified um, if the client will move with us we're going to bring them out a free packing starter kit so they can get a jump start with um, I think it's 10 boxes, some pa packing paper and tape so that they get going on their packing and just again, be prepared. And uh, certainly the pricing is, is, is something that we're aware of. And we make sure that they're, um, they have a preferred pricing structure, whether it's long distance or local, they're gonna be in there at the preferred rate. Right, right. Well, uh, you know, everyone, just so you know, just it, go to, go to muscularmovingmen.com, get connected with them. For those of you that with HomeSmart, remember that uh, that check mark in the um, inside of real smart agent as well the image they show of your fleet when the drone kind of backs away I mean that's pretty impressive yeah it's there. very impressive that's very impressive Thank you guys I fleet. appreciate it yeah, yeah. love it I, I did notice that most of them have their sleeves cut off because of how <laughs> uh, hot it is I'm very intimidated <laughs> but you know what they can pick up that furniture and move it I've seen it I've seen it myself and I, I thought maybe you guys were gonna I thought you guys were maybe gonna be sleeveless today for the broadcast I guess I should have cut mine off too I uh, I threw my jacket on at the last minute just because uh, uh, I've I've seen you in a t-shirt uh, before <laughs> I, I would need to work out for a year before we ever did that hey real quick one last thing for those on YouTube looking up on the screen right here um, they do have a pop-up window if you go to muscularmovingmen.com that a uh, quick little enter your email address and you can subscribe to their newsletter and um, I'm sure there's valuable information in that so please um, subscribe to muscular moving men's newsletter and uh, you know just reach yep. out to their team they want to help one thing that I love about your company the one of the reason why I think we have such a strong alignment is the whole servant oriented service attitude um, you know the fact you mentioned relentlessly you know or uh, never satisfied right is what was the word you know, you're talking about? what was that relentlessly never satisfied relentlessly never satisfied you know that just speaks to that level of service that that we all love and that's what makes real estate agents so um, so good and makes their relationships yeah. with their clients so yeah. powerful so great information today yeah rather short podcast in the scheme of things for our podcast but you've got a distinct and and direct message here and so uh, uh, thank you Justin uh, great stuff yeah any uh, any final thoughts or stories that you want to tell real quick before we uh, sign off for the day uh, I mean again I just you know want you guys to know in the the home smart uh, team that's listening how important that you guys have been for us to be where we are today it, it 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 really matters and means a lot to us when we see that the home smart name pop up on an opportunity to work with clients and you know hopefully we continue to to push that number forward we we feel like you know we're an extension of your team and certainly we consider the home smart family our family and um you know we we understand that uh the agents have a really really tough job to do 
And uh, I think with COVID that's happened recently, certainly there's probably a lot of people that have become agents, quote unquote, that, you know, because it seemed like a very sexy business to get in. And I think that, uh, you know, there's probably going to be that outflux of people again and getting back to those that really know what they're doing. And so it, it's not lost on us how tough uh, your job is. And we're certainly here as an extension of the team to do whatever is necessary, including myself. I'm, I'm a phone call away and just appreciate you guys giving us a chance to hop on today to talk, to talk about the really exciting uh, industry of moving that uh, hopefully there's so, there should be some people still awake, I, I think. <laughs> and for those of you who are still awake and who are all still with us, um, please, uh, we've got a like button. If, if you're watching this on, uh, on YouTube, uh, or listening uh, on Spotify or uh, iTunes, uh, we need you to hit that like button. It helps the algorithm. We appreciate that very much. Give Maybe us a thumbs up. Give like us a thumbs up. Like, so let's get to a goal of likes, and if that happens, then Rich and Todd have to come to the gym at our warehouse and work out with me. <laughs> there you go. I like that. Name I think like number. five likes. Five likes? <laughs> Just five likes? Five likes off this episode. You guys decide. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll oh. take it. Well, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, come on. I mean, only five likes. I was thinking 50. But right. uh, yeah. uh, if that's the number, then, uh, hey, we got to work out. And I guess we'll have to post that video as well. Oh, oh that'd be great. <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're just joining you guys. Go your... by. Exactly. All right. Well, hey, Justin, thank you so much. Uh, we again, we, we appreciate you. We appreciate your team. For those of you listeners listening today, uh, this is our episode. And, you know, if this doesn't move you, then nothing, nothing will. Nothing, nothing will. will. So uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us on this episode of the Real Estate Podcast. I'm Todd Sumney. I'm Rich LaRue. And yeah, we thank, thank you, you guys. Justin. Thanks, Justin. Take care. Like what you're hearing on the real estate? Tell your friends about us. Tell them to check out all of our episodes on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and Spotify. And don't forget to send any topics you want us to tackle to the real estate at homesmart.com.